Okay, welcome everybody. Good morning. So, we are on part four of my mini master classes or mini taster sessions that I've been doing each morning at nine o'clock for you. So we're just a little bit late this morning, but that's fine. It's going to be saved anyway. So it's a, we're doing this all this week just to celebrate my website that I started, martinjensen.tv, where all my videos are going to be going on to for those who want to uh, use the website and just watch videos whenever you want if you're not on the Facebook group. So welcome, and we're going to be doing today, we're going to do Pilates with the ball. So, I don't know if you've ever seen these, we've got small ones, we've got big ones, that one's seven inches, this one's nine inches. And I'm going to be using the nine inches today. Okay, but you can if you want to, you can make them a little bit smaller by letting some air out. So, first one we did start with was the alignment, the breathing and the centre. So we're going to start off with that first of all. So just get your posture, get your breath and then think about your core. Then we're going to warm up using the ball and then we're just going to go through some exercises that you can do when you've got one of these. They're really good, you can deflate them, you can blow them up in like two seconds, you can take them on holiday, a bit like the band. If you've not got any equipment, get yourself a ball and a stretchy band. They're absolutely brilliant. You can do virtually everything with them. Okay, and it just makes the Pilates exercises a little bit more exciting. You can make it unstable. So I'll do a couple of exercises where we're going to balance on it, just with one leg, and we're going to lie on top of it and balance with the legs up in the air. So let's get cracking. We'll put a little bit of music on. Now that everything's working again, we can get going. <laughs> Fingers crossed, no more technical issues. Right, move it down. <laughs> okay, so let's just start. Take hold of your ball. We're going to hold it just below your belly button on your pelvis. Once you have your feet hip distance apart, so we're doing your alignment first. If you can stand with your toes pointing forwards, great. If you can't do that, just stand how you normally do. It's uncomfortable standing forwards. Okay, now we're going to do some pelvic tilts. Tilt the pelvis and back, okay? <laughs> it might look a little bit weird what you're doing to the ball. <laughs> okay, I just want you to think about getting a little bit of flexion and extension down through your lumbar spine. Okay, so getting that movement and feel how that changes the, the position of your spine from an exaggerated hollow to a flat back. And you want to find about that halfway position between the two that's comfortable for you, as though your sitting bones are drawing down towards the floor. Okay, now think about elongating the spine, lengthen. Try and decompress the discs by trying to create space between the vertebrae. And then lift your shoulders up and roll them back and draw them down. So we're trying to create a plumb line from the earlobe. So just bring your chin slightly back as well. So you've got that plumb line from your earlobe, shoulder, hip, down through the knee, but just slightly in front of the actual knee joint and to the front of your ankle. Take your breath in under your arms, laterally and thoracically wide and full. And exhale through the mouth. Breathe in through your nose, wide and full. So take that breath up into the side of the ribs, under your arms, into the back. And as you're exhaling through the mouth, start to gently draw your tummy away from the ball, just a tiny bit, to be trying to get the skin away from your t-shirt and the ball. And you should feel like that deep belt, your deep core muscles are tensing up. Just a little bit like a corset or a belt being notched up. Okay, so there's quickly through the ABCs. So let's go into some warm-up exercises now. So we're going to raise the ball in front and then bring it down. So maintaining shoulder girdle stability. So that's keeping your shoulders down, the collarbone, the shoulder blades. Feel like you're using your lats, the lower trapezius muscles to keep them strong and stable. The ribs draw in and down. You're going to keep that gentle connection through the centre. Let's go a little bit higher. I'm just going to move back a little bit so I've got more room, otherwise I'm going to knock my chandelier off. And lower. And lift. And lower. Up to the top. 
Start to raise your heels up and lower. So you're going to start to engage your glutes as you lift. Engage your glutes. So that's going to help keep your pelvis stable. Stop it moving around and lower. And again. Okay, hold the ball in your right hand. Take it up and round by the side. Pass the ball behind the back. Up in front and around. So we're getting good mobility through your shoulder. I'm just going to move you down a little bit more. I know I'm not very professional, is it? <laughs> So behind the back and circle. So warm up that synovial fluid, nourishing the cartilage in the joint, getting the muscles warmed up. Now take the ball round and circle, then behind your back. Take it round in front and circle. All the way around. The biggest circle you can make with your arms, so you've increased the range of movement, and now we've got a full range. Last one, well done. Okay, hold the ball against the side of your leg. Take a breath in, as you exhale, contract your core to your center. Breathe in, roll the ball down the side. Exhale to center. Those of you who've got any back issues or bone problems, keep this really small. Okay, we can take a hand to the temple. You can lift that elbow up and you'll start to feel a stretch coming down the side of your body. Down through your obliques, your QLs, and your lats. Okay, let's change it again. You can reach over. Now I'm pressing against the ball, the, my leg with the ball, and you'll feel your lats working because you're pushing inwards with your arm and in with the elbow. So you get some resistance work here as well. Hold it here, reach, tap your hand with the ball, bring it back down and lift. Reach over, tap, so you're increasing the load by taking both arms out to the side. And then hold it here and lift it up and down. Reach over, take the ball out, lift both arms up to the top. And we'll just do that one more time. Roll the ball down, push against your leg, take it out to the side, and change sides. So just rolling it down. Lateral flexion and frontal plane of movement. And we're going to just press your hand against the ball to get that resistance. So any resistance work also increases bone density. So applying pressure to your bones. Get your hand to the temple, side bend. So warming up your spine, nourishing those discs, nourishing the cartilage, yeah? Let's take a stretch over the top. You get a really good stretch this morning doing this. Push the ball down further and reach across, unless you've got any back issues. Okay, hold it over, take the arm out, tap, bring it back, and lift. Over, tap. Okay, so now we add, over, hold it, take both arms up, and then bring them both down. And we did three of these. Yeah. Oh, that feels good, doesn't it? One more. Push against the ball, push. Don't be scared, give it a push. And relax there, well done. Give your shoulders a roll back and down. Okay, so when we did the pole one, we talked about alignment and hip hinging, the lumbo pelvic rhythm. Place the ball against your pelvis, or just your thighs. So we want to be able to move from the hip without the spine changing position. Press against the ball and send your hips back, as if you're pushing the ball against your pelvis that's moving you backwards. So then we've got a bit of hip hinge, and then you can roll the ball, down to your knees, keeping a flat back. Now you might feel a stretch in your hamstrings, feel it in your glutes. Now engage your core, use your hamstrings and your glutes to come back up. Tense up here and pull up. And again. So 
Feel that stretch in your hamstrings. If you tighten the back of your legs, you'll probably feel that pretty quickly. How are we getting on? So roll it. And roll it back up. If you're okay with your back and you're, you're like flexing, you could roll it to here. And if you want to, you can then flex forwards all the way down. Those of you who've got back issues, don't do that. So you can roll it up, tuck in the tailbone under, squeezing those glutes and hamstrings and come up and reach. Okay, or just keep it with a flat back position. Okay, we're gonna use that hip hinge and neutral spine for the squat. Place the ball between your knees. Give it a little squeeze and feel the inner thighs start to contract and think about your pelvic floor muscles engaging. There's no stopping yourself going to the loo. So ladies, you've got three passages, gentlemen, we've only got two, not as lucky. <laughs> but we can pull up from the front to the back. Think about those muscles like a hammock or an elevator lifting up inside. So I'm just doing a little squeeze, release. Try and engage the pelvic floor muscles without clenching your bum. Okay, keep a very gentle contraction on the ball. Very, very gentle squeeze. Hip hinge and squat. Let your arms come forwards. Bring it up. Again, hinge. Now, on the way up, I want you to contract your pelvic floor muscles a little bit more. Relax them on the way down, and now squeeze. And I want you to squeeze the ball gently on the way up. I don't want you to squeeze at 100%. Probably want to squeeze it about 30 or 40%. See how that feels. If you want to squeeze it a bit harder, you can if you want. <laughs> okay, one more. So I'm just giving you some tasters here. Can you see my feet? <laughs> okay, we're gonna take the ball, place it on the floor. I'm gonna put your right foot on it. Okay, maybe I've chosen the wrong ball for this, it's quite big. <laughs> okay, you've got the ball just slightly in front of here. Now think about your pelvis. We don't want it to be lifted, because your spine's gonna be all out of alignment. So bring your pelvis to alignment, and then Bring your hands across the chest. Okay, we're gonna go into squat here, using the glutes at the back. Push through the supporting leg on the floor. So with this one, you just gotta watch that you don't push your hips that way, or that way. Try and keep them going straight back. Now, have a little bit more focus on the leg that's on the floor. The hip, the knee, and the ankle and line without rocking in or out. The one that's on the ball can wobble about if it wants to, if it needs to, but not too much. So really push through that supporting leg's glutes. Feel that in your quads. Okay, last one. Switch sides. Find your balance. Okay, just take your time and get your pelvic stability, shoulder girdle stability, and think about your center. Hands across the chest. You might be better on it one side than the other, but just practice. Hips go back. And push. Again, you're hinging from your hip first. So think about that lumbo pelvic rhythm. Hips first, then knees. Let's do four more. So the hinge, now really squeeze those glutes. Check that this knee's not going past the toe. This one's fine, it's not doing any work. So, one more. 
off. Well done. Excellent. Okay, how are we getting on? So I just need to move you down a little bit more because I'm just going to show you a few floor exercises you can do. Just a few. And then you can go and get yourself a ball and start practicing if you've not got one already. Okay, we're going to take the ball behind the back. But I want you to place it just under your shoulder blades and lean against the ball. Okay, support your head with your hands. You should feel quite comfortable. If there's anything that's not comfortable or hurts, then don't do it. Okay, so I've got it just below the shoulder blades. I'm going to draw my rib cage down, connect through the core. Knees bent, hip distance apart. Take a breath in. This is a really small move. I just want you to bring your sternum as you breathe out and squeeze. You do a very small curl up and breathe in to lower. Now, depending on your neck, you can have the hands across your chest. Or you can have them at the temples. Or you can clasp your hands and cradle your head. Now, you can get a tiny little bit of extension if you come back further, which is quite nice if you're okay with your back. Quite small. See how far I'm moving? So the, the joint, you want to think about sternum to pubic bone. Make sure you're scooping in, scooping those abs throughout. We don't want them to stick out, do we? How do you want your abdominals to train? Do you want them to poke out, dome, or do you want them to flatten down? If you want to work harder, you take the ball further back. And then try and get your shoulder blades to almost come off the ball. Ugh. So your t-shirt's still touching the ball, but your skin's coming away. So you just take the weight out of the ball. And last one. And relax. It's highly up to you, but it's quite nice to have a little stretch over the ball backwards here. And then come up. Okay. Take the ball. This is going to go on for a bit longer than I thought. <laughs> We're going to get a few more. This one's my favourite. Take the ball. Now you can deflate it a bit if you need to. Lift up and place the ball under your sacrum. Under your sacroiliac. Okay, you want to draw your abs in and pull your ribs down. Use your hands to balance. Okay, have a little wobble. So just roll it around a little bit. Make sure you're not going to fall off. Think about your alignment. Think about your breath. Breathe in wide and full. And as you exhale, engage your core. Feel that compression of the deep core muscles. See so deep transversus, internal obliques, pelvic floor. And then we're going to add a knee lift. Slowly down. So doing one knee for a beginner might be hard enough. If you're wobbling, you don't want to progress from there. If you can do that, place your hands across the chest. Single knee lift. So it's a little bit more unstable, isn't it? Okay, let's move on. Hands on the floor. Lift your right leg up. Lift your left leg up. Pull your rib cage down a bit more. The ball's supporting your back, but it's unstable. Place your right foot down, place your left foot down. Place your left foot up, lift your right foot up. Place the left one down, and the right one. Okay, let's progress it. Both legs up, balancing on the ball. Take one foot down, tap the floor as you breathe out, and breathe in to return. Exhale away, 
Press your core. Can you take the opposite arm over the head? It's the wobbly workout. It's quite good fun if you wobble. Just try not to fall off. Okay, let's progress this. One side comes in, the other side goes out. So it's not really too challenging on the core so much, but for balance and coordination, it's very good for. If you think about the ball supporting your back. So it's a little bit hard, it's a bit easier than trying to keep your back in imprint on the floor. But you're probably wobbling like crazy. Okay, and give your knees a hug. Place one foot down and the other. Take the ball out. Okay, we'll do one more. Take your right leg up, which is going to give you a bit of a hamstring stretch before we go into some bridges. So the bridges are going to work your bum, your back, and the back of your legs. So your glutes, your hamstrings, and your spinal muscles, and your QLs. Great for your pelvic floor muscles. Switch legs. Okay, I'm going to just rush through these. <laughs> Just want to give you a little taster of what we do, some of the classes this week. So you've had to go with the pole, you've had to go with the band. We've done your ABCs, we've got ball today and weights tomorrow. Take your ball and put it between your knees and bring your feet a bit closer to your bum. You don't want anything behind your head. Chin slightly tucked in. Find a neutral curve in your lower back. You just get the fingertips in the side and your hip bones and pubic bone lie on the same plane. Okay, start with the breath in. As you exhale, connect through your center. Pelvic tilt, your lower back goes into imprint, you scoop it and start to lift the tailbone up off the floor. And it feels like you're peeling the vertebra off the mat, as if it was Velcro stuck. And as you come down, imagine your spine like a string of beads going down one at a time. One vertebra after the next, and that's if you're doing segmental control. If you don't like segmental control, you find it uncomfortable, you could just squeeze your glutes, push into your feet, and just come straight up. Lift and say, come straight off the floor. Okay, so engage those glutes, pull the ribs in, and squeeze the ball between your thighs. Okay, bring that down. Either straight down with your pelvis or roll it from between your shoulder blades down your spine. Okay, so you've got your two options there, segmental control or just lift straight up. Off you go. Lift. Squeeze the ball. Now, engage your pelvic floor muscles. This exercise is amazing for pelvic floor because it's challenging your inner thighs. Connect it up to your pelvic floor. As you breathe out, engage it a bit more, and let's raise your arms up to the ceiling. If you're okay with your neck, you've not got any problems with your bones or joints, you can take the arms behind. Bring it back up. And then keep your arms there as you come down. Okay, we're just gonna do one more, because I've got more classes to do. <laughs> Pelvic tilt, lift. And I've still got one more exercise I want to do with you as well. Squeeze your glutes, hamstrings, back, pelvic floor muscles. Optional arms behind. And then bring it up and roll it down. Well done. Give the knees a hug. Okay, so that works on your posterior. So the exercise on, on your back, lying on the ball. Work the front, and then that will work the back. Let's just do a little bit of upper body strength. Okay, take the ball between your knees, hands to your shoulders. Lift your knees up and kneel on the ball. Squeeze your inner thighs together, and then lift your feet up. Okay, it's wobbly, it's wobbly. Have a little wibble wobble on it, roll it. Move around, but try and use your core and your upper body to stabilize. Okay, are we ready? We're going to go in for push-ups. Chest between the hands. Let's do 10. 
breathing down, breathe out, lift. That's level one. If you want to work harder, lengthen your levers, you can bring the feet higher up. Two, three, four. Draw your shoulder blades down the back. Feel that connection through your centre. Squeeze your inner thighs and your feet. Keep the ball really still. And, ten. and now very gracefully, dismount the ball without going flying. Roll it forwards, have a sit back and stretch. Can roll it side to side. Bring it up. Up to knee then. A little twist. Or just get up gradually. So you can even work your chest by squeezing the ball between your hands. Let's try that. Squeeze the ball between your hands. Feel it work your chest and your shoulders. Again, it's increasing bone density because we're weight bearing, we're adding resistance, we're adding load to the bones and joints. So it also increases the strength of your tendons and your ligaments. Okay, come up to standing. Roll the shoulders. Take a deep breath in. And out. Change sides. One more. Hold the ball between both hands, bring it down, take one hand across, the other, give it a hug. <laughs> well done, well done, well done. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that little session with the ball. Hope it's got you out of bed and woke you up, or whenever you watch this, I hope it's, it's helped. <laughs> you got a little taster of a Pilates class with the ball. We do a lot more with it, that was quite, uh, just a few exercises we did there. So thanks very much everybody, I hope you're all okay and don't forget we've done this this week because we're celebrating my new website which is martinjensen.tv so you can go and get loads of classes on there. Every week we do about 20 classes and then sometimes there's extra ones as well. I've got free content on there, there's a whole step routine from the beginners level through to so intermediate, advanced and there's also all these taste chefs sessions that I've just been doing this week on there as well. So go and have a go at it. We've got the pole. So you've got your ABCs, we've got the pole, we've got the band, we've got the ball, and then tomorrow we've got the weight. So they'll all be on the website for you to go and have a look at and join up. So if you wouldn't mind sharing this video, there's a little button below, it might be at the side. Facebook changes all the time, doesn't it? Instagram, don't think you can share this, but if you come to my Facebook page, GTI Fitness, then you can share it, that'd be great. Thanks very much, everybody.